Oh, here we are, everybody. Um, our first snowfall in well, quite a while. Um, so I thought I'd come out and start the van up because it's perfect weather to uh, check for any hot, cold spots and stuff like that. So I'm just about going to start it up now, put the heating on, and uh, come back in a hour or so still starts that's good um, come back in about an hour or so and uh, check the outside to see if there's any spots where I need to do some more insulation and whatnot and uh, yeah so uh, but we got, looks like we've got a good maybe three inches on the roof um, hopefully that doesn't melt off the snow well the snow's starting to actually fall off the van now uh, it doesn't seem to be sticking to it but hopefully I could still tell if there's any uh, areas on the uh, inside that I need to re-insulate and stuff like that and uh, yeah so I'll come back in about an hour and a half get it nice and hot inside we'll have a little look alright so I've had the van running now for a couple of hours I've turned it off now so it's got nice and warm in here um, I'm happy with the result there's not really there's not really any melting points um, the snow is all still on the roof, so that's good. So that means there's no heat necessarily escaping from the top. Um, so I'm I'm really happy with that. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna get out here and get painting, get painting all of this, and uh, yeah, think about trying to find a door for that tomorrow, but. We'll see how it goes. Just see how bad the snow is because I'm not going to venture out because I don't have the Jeep anymore because it broke. Um, so I've got a car now and I don't really want to venture out in the snow. And uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. decided to wait for the snow to all disappear and it's now all gone ran into a bit of an issue with the door the sliding door I um, I tried to open it while it was frozen and I pulled the door handle too hard and it fell off or right, it broke off um, so now the only way I can get in and out of, uh, get the sliding door open is by climbing through the back, over the beds, and opening the door from the inside. Um, I bought a new handle, which is here. Um, turned up the other day. So now, uh, I've just got to waste some time now, putting a new door handle on. Um, I've never been very good at putting handles on cars it's too too fiddly and uh, but I haven't got a choice so I can't move the van anywhere so I've got to try and do it myself um, so I'm hoping it's gonna go okay I've just got the interior door handle off the inside handle um, but I've got to figure out I can see the bolts to get the outer handle off but it's all the mechanism on the inside that's what I struggle with because uh, things fiddly things like this just they do my head in 
I don't like it. But like I so say, I don't really have a choice. Um, I could leave it for another day. But um, there is a reason why I've got to get this done now. Because we've got a bit of good news. Um, now, probably about, I'd say, about a year ago, we um, we mentioned in one of our, I think it was a vlog, <clears throat> that uh, we were trying to purchase a house, our first house. Um, but because of everything that had been going on in the world, um, it fell through and we lost it. Um, so ever since then we've been trying and trying again trying to buy a house and a year later we did it today is the 17th of February and our moving in day is in three weeks so I need to get this door working so I can load the van up so we can move. Which is why I've got to do this now. So, uh, wish me luck. But what I've also just noticed is this new handle, it doesn't come with the plastic clips to hold all this, this sort of stuff in. Like the cables and the, the little metal bars. So, if I break any of these little plastic clips, I'm screwed because I can't attach them. Um, I didn't know that until I pulled this out of the packet just to make sure it's the right, the right fit and it doesn't come with any little clips. Tell you what guys, this is some... Uh, because I know I can't break these clips this is a scary thing to do because these clips I can only assume are the same age as the car um, which is 2006 I think um, right now I've, I've got them all loose but it's trying to get this thing out the door now um, I don't really know <laughs> yeah I don't know how to do it I really don't got to come out one way or another because it has to be fixed. I think it's... Ah, have we got it? Have we got it? I think we have. There we are. Woo! Yeah, see there. No handle. We just found Dabby Dozy. So um, I'm going to switch off now because um, I'm not going to record this because I know I'm going to mess it up. So... Um, I'll see you in a sec. Change my mind. I'm going to record it. So these are the little clips that I'm sad telling you about. This one, this one, this one, and this one I've got to, still got to try and get off. And obviously then I've got to transfer it over to this one. But like I say it's just getting these clips out without breaking them. That's two. 
well, once I've got it in. There we are. Just got to get that one off now. Um, I don't think I can get the, um, the old pliers behind that. So I might have to. So all you got to do is just squeeze the little, squeeze the back together. And then the hope you know they should pop out. Oh, there it goes on the floor somewhere. All right, so which way did I have that? So that goes in that one there. All right, now it's just trying to get that off. I don't know how to do it. Um, don't know if you just pull it. I reckon you just pull it. I don't know, but I can't break that because it's the lock. Um, don't know. I don't know if it's on the little ball. Oh yes, it is. So if I pull it, it should come off. Oh. Well, don't like pulling things. Oh. It looks okay. Looks good. So we'll pop that on there. Should be ready to put that in the hole. So there it is all transferred over. I think that goes that way. Yeah, I think that goes up like that. Well, I'll find out when I put it in the hole. to a little issue uh, no I can only assume that this is a pattern part not an original citron part because um, it's slightly it doesn't seem to want to fit in the holes properly so I'll show you here so this one's in up there if you can see it and this one doesn't quite meet the hole see so that one's in there in flush that one's not so I'm gonna have to um, force it in a way to get it in there or I'll have to file the hole a little bit bigger to get it in I'll figure it out right so I've got it in I just had to push a little bit harder they are it's definitely a pattern part um, I mean I didn't pay an awful lot of money for it but it is brand new so um, it's still sitting a little proud from the door on the outside but I'm hoping once I've done these bolts up without dropping them um, it should pull it close to the door so it sits flush um, like I said before, I've never been able to do because you just you can't get in there. You got really little fingers, small hands, and I haven't exactly got small hands. And uh, yeah, so we'll just do these up, then um, see if it all fits and seals to the door. 
then I can start attaching the little poles and the cables and stuff like that. But for a pattern part, eh, doesn't fit too bad. I've had worse. So far so good, haven't broken anything yet, which makes a change, because usually when I do fiddly stuff like this, I get halfway through it, I either break something or I just can't do it, and I give up, get someone else to do it. But that's what I, um, that was diff what's different about this van, is I don't want other people doing it. I want to finish this van and then we can say we did this we done all this um, obviously the I think the only if I can remember back the only time I've had help with this van was to have the windows sealed I think but that's the uh, that's the only time that's I had no choice it was water I just can't get in here. I do a little, well, this is going to take me a little while, so I'll come back in a minute because I can only do a little turn at a time because I can't get a socket in there. So I'm not even going to attempt that. So um, once I've done this bolt up, I'll come back. And there we have it. One working door. Look at that, that's just broken. Looks like I'm going to have to put it apart again. Oh, lovely. Well, I thought it was working. No, I've now got to put it, something's come off. So, um, I'm going to have to do it, put it all off again, find out what is going on. And, oh! Oh, look who we have here! We have Stuart! Yeah, I'm here. We're exploring with Em and Stu. I'm going to be on your video. Yeah, right? you're going to be on the video. <laughs> you're going to be on the video. Cool, man. Just put the um, door handle in. Oh, lovely. What's working? What happened? I've, you fitted it. Yeah, I've fitted it. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I've fitted it. I've tried it out. Yeah. And it worked fine. I've just pulled the interior door handle. Um, something's obviously come off. Oh right, so it's not open from the interior. It's yet. not opening from the inside now, but it was. So something's come off. No, so um, like I say, <laughs> I'm going to pull it off again. <laughs> Always have to do things twice, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it again. All right, here we are. Um, I don't know what I've done with the handle. What do I do with the handle? Where's the handle, Steve? I ain't got a clue, mate. Ah, right next to me. Right, I'm not sure what actually happened, because um, everything still seems to be working. It just looked like the mechanism jammed up a little bit. But the problem I've got now, when I've gone to screw the interior door handle on, I've obviously done it a little tight, and I've sheared, sheared off all the threads in here. So I've managed to find a little square nut, which I'm going to super glue. Have you got the super glue? I believe. Which I'm going to glue to the back of this, and hopefully that's going to do the trick. Um, we shall see. Watch me stick my fingers together. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the sort of thing I'd do. No. Oh. Coming out. Yeah, it will do. Just give it a give it a squeeze. Brand new. Might have to get a drill bit in there. Yeah, it's a brand new one. Uh, I don't have a small one in here because I broke the move. 
Work all your drill bits. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, can you go and boot the car? Because mm -hmm. there's some more drill bits in there. Should be a small pack. Yeah. Get in the hole. Nope. That's a bummer, isn't it? It's not small enough. Not small enough. No. Uh. Stick my fingers together. <laughs> Need to get this in the right place as well because once this is stuck, it's yeah. stuck, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, instant bond! Instant bond to my fingers. in the right place. Where's the lid? Cheers, bruh. Cheers, bruh. Oh, my fingers are stuck. I've super glued my fingers together. Look. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, this is bad. It's like the Chuckle Brothers. Oh. Alright, let this dry a minute, we'll be back. Right, here we are, uh, second attempt, and uh, it seems to be working on now. So, uh, all good. All good. Happy. So, uh, I think I'll end it on this one, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. I won't be doing much to the van now because like I say we're going to be moving and we're going to need to use the van but um, I'll try and get another video out at some point um, see what happens so as for me I'll see you later see you later Stu see you later <laughs> see you later bye bye